Mario to start here. Yeah, so Mario versus Pika. Um, this is a pretty hard matchup for Mario. Uh, he's got a pretty nice punish game in it, though. So the the spacing game is what's really tough for Mario. Yeah. He like Pika's back air is struck. His up air is very good. Yeah. But if Pika tries to space that back air, Mario can uh, stick out an up air. One of the fast, maybe the fastest aerial startup frames. Yeah, I think it comes out frame three. Uh, and Mario's actually got a lot of good combo breakers in general. Uh, he's got down B that comes out frame two and up B that comes out frame one. Janko's looking good to start. He's got a yeah. very solid punish game, but match guard scenario, but uh, lets him back on. That he's, might be uh, the make or break here. Um, yeah. I don't know how well Janko is at edge guarding Mario. He's got a little experience against you know some of the better players that switch to Mario, yeah. but I don't know if there are any Mario mains in. Toronto, Ottawa, or Montreal. That was good option coverage, though. Uh, after missing the forward smash, just throwing out the down tilt and cleaning it up. Uh, and I feel like a lot of this uh, matchup comes down to the edge guarding. Uh, Mario's pretty hard to edge guard, but because you have to edge guard him in a very specific way. You, yeah, usually um, you kind of have to catch him before he gets to the ledge. Yeah, if he gets the chance to use the up B. Uh, one, like very few moves will hit him. Great punish for Jenga. Yeah. Um, and forward smash can hit him. But Mario has very, very, a lot easier ledge DI, reverse ledge DI, because yeah. of the way his up B pokes out in front of him. The disjoint, because um, you want to be like up and a, like at the corner of the ledge to, to get the DI, makes it easier for him. Yeah. Um, so not not the best. Time. And a great defensive up smash there, uh, just uh, telling Jenko, get out my face. That's uh, I think that's how. Mario Mario gets a lot of his kills against Pika. Yeah. Um, at high percent, you can usually call out with an up smash. The forehead sticks out pretty far. And the head is also invincible, so it's a pretty safe option. And uh, looks like he was kind of confused how to continue the combo there. Yeah, it's like uncharacteristic for him. I mean, he's been been out of the game for a while, so we should expect to see perhaps a little rust, but he still gets the opportunity to against, play against Kiro. Yeah. Um, so, you know, great training partner, especially for this matchup. And uh, his second stock, also a defensive up smash. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Janko, Janko, might, Janko might adjust to that, and yeah. then uh, we'll see Caesar possibly forced to combo into that a lot more. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you're able to bait out the up smash, then that's a pretty free punish for any character. So you saw Janko caught him with the S smash uh, after Caesar had used his jumps. Uh, Caesar did not get the left CI, and at that point, you're pretty much out of luck. Yeah. Uh, if he starts using the uh, ledge DI though, it might make uh, make it a lot harder time for him. It's so hard to catch. Mario, Mario, at the very least, I would say has, well, at least in my opinion, probably the second best recovery, if not the best. It's just yeah. he, the, the ledge DI adds a whole nother level to it too. It's oh yeah. So much protection on his uh, his up B. And really, the only weak spot is like right at the top back of his head, and right. uh, a lot of characters just. Uh, or a lot of players don't really want to risk going that far out. It's, it's pretty difficult to um, to get like a you know runoff back air, you know that yeah. kind of thing. It's, it's like, risky. The the character probably best at it is Kirby because uh, he can just kind of hover in the spot where you know Mario's going to be and just throw it down. Well, yeah, I was going to say yeah, Kirby Kirby's down air really messes with the uh, the Mario Bros. Yeah, um, it's like Cheers when he goes on his uh, Luigi's on edge guardable rant, yeah. then he just gets decimated by Revan because. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Down air is pretty strong. But, uh, we'll see if he can, uh, so he nicks him. A Jenko is poised to take this first game. Yeah. Caesar just having a hard time getting in, but he does get the stock, so, uh, still anyone's game. Yeah, we know. Uh, Jenko always been a promising talent. Revan's main protege. Yeah, I feel like if you're training with Revan, like, you're yeah, bound to be pretty good. I mean, Revan is just. He's pretty brilliant. So yeah. That, so it's a good way to pick up uh, good tactics. Oh, uh, great edge guard. Uh, wow, Jenko with a strong two stop. Yeah, yeah. He he looked comfortable the whole time. So right. Which is very good. Yeah. <laughs> like he he got the edge guards. He missed a, like one or two, but he really had that had that matchup down pretty well. So on to game two. Um, we'll see if Caesar has a. Can adjust. And a little slow on the forwarder there, uh, so 
<laughs> Another up smash. <laughs> not gonna kill that time. But. I mean, that's like a, a why not move. Obviously, yeah. it's stale now, so that's not the greatest thing. But it should kill at this percent, even so it's stale though. Great spacing from Janko. Made it in oh wow! Nice uh, fast fall. Get away from the back here. To the edge guard. Wow. Yeah. Dude, just that fireball. Not not very good decision making there. No. Uh, great pivot though. Uh, baits him into an easy easy grab. Yeah, I guess we didn't get all up smashes, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I did not think that that down smash would hit. Yeah. And it was great that it uh, tumbled Pikachu too and put him in a tech situation. So Caesar is up this game. Uh, not by much, but he's doing better than game one. Oh, he, he got away with that one. This is a really aggressive fast fall Nair into, like, right into Pika's up tilt. Yeah. Uh, he's still making it back at this point. Uh, he doesn't seem to have that ledge DI down. Yeah. Just, uh, it, it might be where he's positioning the up B. Right. Usually you want Mario's head a little bit above the stage, but it looks like he's dipping low trying to sweet spot. So I think you kind of have to commit to one or the other uh, for an option. You know. Going for grabs. Uh, it's it's Great actually hunter. pretty difficult to to play that grab neutral game against Mario because of that quick up air. And yeah. It's just the, the hitbox on it is so... I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it just it sticks it's out really It's a nice far. hitbox, yeah. It's not, it's not disjointed or anything, but it's just got good coverage. And it's not Jank quite uh, Falcon or Pikachu up there, but, <laughs> you know. It's cool. Like, Pika, Pika's is crazy because it's disjointed. Falcon's yeah. is crazy because look at that Just thing. the range. Like, no matter where they're at, it's going to hit them. Oh, oh, I, I, thought, like I thought Janko was going to... Uh, I didn't want to see another SD there. But that that looked really incredible, risky, but yeah. Incredible great idea. option. And tied it right back up. Jenko, uh, he's kind of a young guy, but he seems to have great composure, honestly. Oh, yeah. And that's, like, uh, such a big part of this game. Right. And, oh. Drop and like, there covers the tech option. Like, a lot of younger players, you hear, like, oh, they're so promising, but not like they're, they're there. Because yeah. they still have, you know, it's hard to get that maturity, that composure. Um, because sometimes Red. they might have the matchup, they might have the tech skill, but just uh, right. being able to stay composed against high-level players is right. easily just as important. Not, not enough yet. He's yeah. got some combos uh, started. It's kind of hard at this percent, but uh, he might just be looking for a grab at this point. Oh, I, I was uh, Janko. Oh, because, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Janko can start some... Uh, he can do some nice things to Mario. He's, you know, floaty characters. Yeah. Rely less on like the hard hits, like the uh, up smashes and you know strong airs. Yeah. Get like up tilt to up air combos and stuff like that. Um, Caesar get, doing a good job reading the edge guard, getting the grab. Yeah, because uh, if Pikachu does get one of those combos, uh, Dango can easily just turn this game around. Right. It looks like Caesar's just putting. It's hard for Jenko uh, to get in a position to get those combos that he probably wants. He's gonna try. Oh, the F smash. It's a little too close to the stage, a little late. Um, Great so another, another edge guarding tool that Jenko is not properly utilizing. Caesar's going pretty far out when yeah. Jenko stepped out. He can just get back to the stage and ledge snap. Yeah. Um, it's like Pikachu is definitely the best at going deep just because his up B is so quick at getting back in the stage. He took the hit but there, also got the up and out. Yeah. It's a really favorable trade for Jenko. We'll see, you know, he's had up smash range. He's had pretty much anything range now. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what he can do. All of the, anything he can rack on now is just, you know, extra credit. Yeah, basically. Good pivot grab opportunity there. But, oh, and just fast falls and gets the down there. Caesar's going for a lot of hard reads, and it's really kind of hurting. Him. Yeah. When you're when you're out for a while, some of the old, the, you know, those old tactics don't work. Yeah. Because uh, he might be used to something working, like, maybe a year ago, but everyone's gotten so much better since then. And, like we said, extra credit. He took a whole stock yeah, with that. Yeah. And, uh... Now, now, I was going to say we're back to extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, Jenko's still alive. So he, he, yeah. He's uh, he's very patient about like when he chooses to go in on Caesar, and I think that's helping him out a Caesar lot. Caesar had a so. really great read on that edge guard. He yeah. just slightly mixed the uh, execution. Um, 
I like him throwing out the fireballs to make uh, Janko up the again close to the stage. Yeah. Uh, you can usually use the fireballs to force your opponent to at least eliminate one of the recovery options. Um, a lot of characters are easier to edge guard when they're up recovering closer to the stage yeah. rather than far, which see, at first seems like counterintuitive, but you think like Fox and Ness, if they're yeah. right there, you know, even Pika, you can throw out a hitbox. And Caesar, and Caesar with a lo low percent up smash, but just enough to take that second game. Yeah, like that. How many kills has he gotten on that up smash now? Probably four? <laughs> At least, yeah. I mean, but like, if he's not getting the combos, that's all he has. Yeah, right? he, yeah. like he he's got a couple of back throws too, but yeah, um, he's getting the combos but not finishing them like you would expect. But that's yeah. where that that experience plays in. You yeah. know, even even with a hiatus, you know, you have that that old school. He's just got more game time. Just, um, he's sometimes he'll be one step ahead, and that's the second SD we've seen from Janko yeah. in uh, the past few games. Um, which, you know, very well could have made the difference in that last one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what, a, what an F smash. Um, but yeah, he takes that right back. It's just F smashing right in neutral. Hey, if it works, it works. And, Caesar uh, with uh, some real nice facing here. Uh, let's the combo go early. Um, he seems comfortable doing that, though. Shanks kind of getting a few hits and then just uh, waiting out for. Uh -oh, oh, finally. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, Janko's throwing out a lot of empty hops facing Caesar. Yeah. I'm waiting for him, if you're facing forward, really the only option you have against Mario is an up air, right? Yeah. And I, I, Pika facing away from Mario is very strong because of the option of back air. You can still hit him with the up air, but you have the mix up between the two. Yeah. And another up smash. Wow. And Caesar. So Caesar's feeling himself, man. Yeah. He's, he's, well, that's two times he's, he's getting the combos now. He's yep. getting the. You know, they're short and sweet. You don't need to do you know, the elaborate. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you like can end it early, it's better. <laughs> and that was a great read from uh, Caesar. A lot of players will ledge hop without you know protecting themselves. Yeah. Janko didn't throw out the up air. But Caesar was ready with that down smash. Um, uh, great spacing on that back air though. Another edge guard scenario. Oh, and Janko's. Uh, I like the idea, but just a little little off on the spacing. But he's only down a stock now. He's got some percent, but you know, as long as he doesn't <laughs> jump into any up smashes, uh, some of that. Uh, I was oh, gonna wow. say, it's Ottawa, uh, Ottawa three players. For three. Uh, well, most of the Canadians are pretty notorious for their DI. Um, we're not seeing. I don't know if there's much Janko can do in that situation. Yeah, but, but you want to see him at least try, you know? Right. Bait. Got him off stage. Oh, oh wow. That was a nice up nice, uh, mix up. Wow. So, as slow as back. Wow. All right. I was going to say, as slow as back air is, uh, Jenko was able to fit that in because Mario's forward air is pretty slow. Too. Oh, wow. What an adjustment. I like that zip tap to get out of uh, pressure. Caesar just uh, attacking on percent here, um, and he's probably just going to be looking for another Rob smash or grab. Um, Jenko's playing pretty aggressive now. Caesar, yeah. you can tell he's just hanging out under the platform, waiting for Jenko to come in. Yeah, and he's like just the second for Jenko, a aerial, yeah, the second grab. Jenko like runs in, uh, Caesar's ready for it. That's a lot of neutral going on. Uh, Jenko just. Trying to get the up air to um, get the back air. This percent, he's pretty close to killing Caesar. Good option. Sweep the down air. An up air yeah, would have caught him. I was waiting for the up air there, but he it might have just been a missed end foot. Yeah, yeah. Good bait. Caesar a little aggressive on that uh, shield drop. Let's see if he's got an edge guard here. Oh, the option, but that's super risky. And that's Caesar so brings it all the way back. Yeah, and uh, I felt like we saw a different player between game one and game three. Yeah, uh, Caesar definitely figured things out. He got 